I'm gonna do the f part of this question that is this one we have two f part but i'm just gonna do the odd part of x of n i did all of the previous one in my previous video so you can wa watch to get the idea of them here uh, i'm gonna deal with the f part that is odd part of x of n okay let's go to new page i put f right here odd part of x of n okay odd part of x of n is uh, like whenever we have odd and even in my last video i did the even part of x of n that is e part of it and uh, if i if you want to express it like here i can explain that for the even part we deal with the equation x of n x of n plus x of, x of minus n divided by 2 what we do is uh, x of n graph is the first one that is uh, i did in the first video using this piecewise function we derive this graph right here that's our x of n that's the same graph i have right here so x of n is this x of minus n is it is flipped in the y-axis so it's going to be exactly the opposite like whatever the positive here is going to be appearing at negative and stuff like that so x of n x of minus n you add both of them and then divide by two you will end up getting this graph this is for the even function for the odd function the equation is different uh, we are going to have x or or, or for the odd and here we are going to have the exact same equation but here minus x of minus n divided by 2 so one thing i can do is i can copy these two graph because it's going to be exactly the same thing i am going to need for the next one and uh, i can derive the the odd function from this okay so i copy paste here maybe make it small so i can draw my third graph and do the calculation so let's draw the third graph over here we are dealing with the odd function so the equation is going to be x of fn is equal to x of n minus x of minus n divided by 2 so this is what this is the equation we are going to have for this but we can simply put x of n uh, so which means this uh, odd function okay this is n uh, let's look at each situation so here we have from negative 4 to 4 only we have something exists others are zero so we don't have to worry about zeros only the points that exist something so here uh, if you look at that negative 4 we have something negative 3 uh, up to 4 we have something so negative 2 negative 1 1 2 3 4 okay so let's look at uh, negative 4 so x of n i don't have anything which means that is 0 0 minus 0 0.5 divided by 2 that's going to be negative 1 over 4 so here uh, this is we are going to have negative 1 over 4 usually negative 1 over 4 negative 1 over 2 negative 1 these are the possible things that will appear based on what i looked at for the even even i had 1 over 4 1 over 2 1 but this one uh, for the order we are going to have negative because we are subtracting uh, possibility of 1 over 4 also there 1 over 2 1 okay now let's see so for the <coughs> For the first one we have this one is 0 0.5 but uh, this is going to be negative 0 0.5 because of 0 minus 0 0.5 divided by 2 so negative 1 over 4 i put a line for that and then if i look at the next one same thing 0 minus 0 0.5 divided by 2 is negative 1 over 4 and then um, this one 0 minus 1 divided by 2 so that is zero, negative 0 0.5 then uh, here uh, this is 1 minus 1 that is 0 0 divided by 2 that's going to be 0 so nothing there <coughs> and then here this is uh, 1 minus 1 divided by 2 so that's also nothing there 1 minus 1 nothing in here as well um, 1 minus 0 divided by 2 so that, that's going to be positive 0 0.5 then 
0 0.5 minus 0 divided by 2 that is positive 0 0.25 uh, which is 104 and again 0 0.5 minus 0 divided by 2 so that's again so this is the graph uh, we are going to end up having we don't have any points for these three because 1 minus 1 that will be eliminated only points we are going to have is this and the odd functions are not symmetrical even function when you do the even function you have to see if it's symmetrical then only you can confirm that it's a symmetrical for the odd function that shouldn't be symmetrical so this is not symmetrical when you fold the y-axis like if you fold around the y-axis you're not going to get the same or even x-axis so that's why this is not symmetrical therefore this odd function we can confirm and that's it for this video i hope i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video